What is up, YouTube? I am back. I know I've been off for a little while, and if you want to skip the beginning of this and not get an update on what I've been up to, totally fine. I'm going to leave a time link in the description below so you guys can go ahead and skip forward straight to the skating. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you will know one of the reasons that I've been gone for a while is because I've been working on a DIY project in the back of my house. Biggest project I've taken on to date, I'm building a 340 square foot slate patio. I have had some help from my neighbors and my wife Kate has also helped out as well, but I've been doing a lot of it myself and that's a lot of heavy lifting. I've been putting it out over a couple of different days and it's also a lot of planning. I've never planned something like this. Like how do you actually attack that? Getting gravel, getting sand, getting a tamper, figuring out how to grade the whole thing, putting the lumber out and framing it out. It's just like there's a bunch of steps and you could get lost in the minutia of it or just be like, oh, this is too much. I'm going to pay somebody else to do it. Which brings me to my second thing. The other reason I've been out for a little while is I've actually been a little bit down. I've been a little bit depressed. My business itself, my career, has taken a bit of a transition and a bit of a turn. Four or five years ago, thank you, cement truck. Four or five years ago, I was making a very comfortable living doing just voiceover commercial work and getting the occasional on-camera acting gig, but I wasn't really pursuing that line of things. And in that four or five years, my income has taken a ginormous hit. If I was single right now and trying to make it on my own with just my income that I made in this past year, I would be a bad roommate and probably get kicked out or evicted. I think a lot of times on social media, we talk about how good things are or what we're up to and keeping a positive vibe because that is part of life. That is part of putting one foot in front of the other. That is part of attacking the next thing, especially when you don't know what you're doing or you're feeling down and things aren't quite going your way. Life is a series of peaks and valleys. And in my career, I thought that as I started to get successful, it was gonna be this straight climb, not straight up, but like the, you know, the angle was gonna be like, all right, cool, it goes up from here. You don't realize that things go up and down. And also, people in all lines of work. I've never been laid off or gotten fired from a job. Well, there was that one time at a children's theater company, but I was young and partying a lot, and I just didn't feel like coming in, and I feel bad, but you know, they fired me. <laughs> but anyway, I've never been laid off or fired in a real way from a job that I worked at for 10, 15 years, except for this business that I've created of my own. And I'm starting to have to look at other creative ways to make money and make income. And yeah, it was super fun to be able to skate all the time as well. But I have had to turn my attention inward. You do need to make money. You do have a family. And as much fun as it is to be out and working on skate tricks all the time and drawing and doing a bunch of different things, my career is no longer sustaining that ability to have that side of that lifestyle. So we will continue to keep after it. We will keep pushing. I've done some work in my career area to try and boost some things. I do have another audio book coming. I am starting to piece together some semblance of an income, but it needs to keep increasing and I am looking to flesh it out in all areas. I may not be able to skate as much, but when I do, man, I'm gonna enjoy it. I started this journey a while ago as a way of distracting myself from auditions and waiting to hear back whether I was booking something or not. It was also a way of pushing myself and being physical and in my body. What I have found over these four plus years of skating now is that it has become a companion for me and a way to process emotions, a way to process myself, a way to get away from things and a way to work on something that's just for me. It has been such a gift and Everyone who's commented on my videos, you who are watching right now, I really appreciate being part of this community. And I appreciate your comments, I appreciate your suggestions. I try not to get salty, I try and meet everybody with love, and I try and keep that comment section pretty chill. Although I haven't answered a comment in like two weeks. All right, I'm gonna shut up, let's warm up, let's skate.
think it was my first time doing a proper rail stall. To actually hang out up there for a moment felt good. Also, I had a little bit of a 50-50 on the one before it. Little. Killed the momentum on that Ollie to fakey. Neither of my cameras are charged that much. I do have an external battery, but it works better with my Hero Session 4. So I'm gonna take a water break and maybe a camera break. I knew I wasn't going to make that one, but I wanted to see how far I could ride it to the ground without hurting myself. That tugboat is all of our emotional troubles going away, or at least just being hauled down river. <laughs> Keep after it. So on that last attempt, something clicked on why my bonelesses have been way off the past couple of sessions. I'm getting my back foot way too far back here in the pocket because I've gotten used to on transition maneuvering from there. When in fact the boneless requires that my back foot slide up a little bit and then I grab the board a little bit more forward than I have been. I think that's gonna give me more control and more time to land it. But you know, proof is in the pudding.
Water. Here's hoping I don't eat it on the first pass after I've changed the viscosity of my trucks. I got out to Maplewood a little earlier this week and I was skating the mini ramp there, the cement one, and I took a fall kind of like that where I went straight to flat with my shoulder and my knee. My shoulder's fine. My knee though <laughs> took a really nice ding that day like all my weight came down on that this side so I just hit the same spot on my knee and I hurt a little Third reason I haven't been out in a while or posted or skated in a while, and I guess this really only applies to the last week and a half is, we've had some crazy weather systems moving through east coast, middle of the country, tornadoes, heavy storms, flood warning stuff, and we had it successively over a couple of days. All this week has been really rain, which stopped me from working on the patio and definitely did not allow for me to get out and skate while I was taking a break from working. Let's switch it up. I still have a game of skate going with Laurent. When I left off, I was playing a game of skate with Skate Crisis. He landed a boneless 180 in the mini ramp, and he has challenged me to a no comply shove it.
All right, skate crisis. I may have to take a letter on this. I'm not wrapping my brain around it. I kind of get it. That little half jump you kind of have to do to both pop the tail around and also pop your foot and your weight back off the ground once you land in the no comply. Not quite sure how to get my front foot back on. Anywho, let's do some water and some more mini ramp. Folded my right foot under just a little bit and got going in the opposite direction, so it was a weird land.
I am effing up my board left and right. Got some more chips in it today. Definitely dented the front. I think it might be time for a change up after the winter doldrums and this board being around for so long. Might be time for a freshie. Also, I know I mentioned some things about where I'm at at the beginning of the video. And I'm sure some of you will write kind words and I absolutely appreciate that. Just know I'm not like too down. It just, past couple weeks I've had to kind of reconfigure and figure out how I'm going to move up as opposed to staying in a state of stasis where I don't feel like making decisions to move forward. Every day, a little bit of progress. And don't ever discount a full day of physical labor where you can see the fruits of what you've done. Building that patio has also been a blessing. So I'm about out of breath and about out of energy. It's in the afternoon now. I haven't eaten lunch yet. I should probably get home and do a couple more things on the house. In addition to the patio in the back, I'm rebuilding some of the front porch with some composite board that I got from a friend of mine who broke down his small backyard deck. My sister-in-law says never have more than three projects going at once, otherwise you won't get anything done. It's a good rule of thumb when it comes to DIY and home ownership. Anyway, kick clip attempts, let's do this. I should leave before I hurt myself, or exhaust myself, or both. Okay guys, some of the stuff I talked about in the beginning of the video, if you actually watched and listened to it, dealing with changes and shifts, especially if you've been doing something for a really long time, and you are now faced with trying to change streams a little bit and try and figure something out. If you're stuck and you're looking to be unstuck, that can be a lonely process to figure out by yourself. Fortunately, my partner, my wife, Catherine, is a coach and deals with transitions and deals with moving yourself from one field to another or starting your own business. She does complimentary sessions, so if any of you are out there thinking about trying to make a shift from one field to another or you are in a place where you're stuck and are trying to figure out how to get unstuck, it's a, it's a really good thing to get a coach and she is phenomenal at what she does. I will leave a link below for her website. You guys can check her out. It might be a good fit. It's really personal work. It's awesome to find tools and to find a ladder out of where you are and getting into the place where you want to be. Anyway, skate crisis. Sorry I didn't land the trick. I guess it's still your turn. You gotta give me another one or do I do it? I don't know. Let me know and we'll figure it out from there. Hoping to get out for some more sessions, weather permitting and career permitting. Guys, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Have an awesome day.